pediatric lecture and in this video I'm going to talk about what is the criteria for diagnosis of growth hormone deficiency growth hormone deficiency so what is the criteria in pediatrics remember so if you look at the height very important the height is below third percentile third percentile very important then the bone age below the chron chronological age bone age below the ca that is chronological age okay and the another important point is prepubertal growth velocity less than 4 cm per year okay then abnormal 24 hour growth hormone secretory pattern if you take the pattern 24 hour growth hormone pattern is abnormal okay and the peak growth hormone levels less than 10 nanogram per ml during pro stimulation test means and this the you you allow the patient allow the patient to do some exercise strenuous exercise for 20 minutes okay like running okay continuously running so that and then you measure the growth hormone levels and that will be around if it's less than 10 nanogram per ml then it's going to be called as a growth hormone deficiency okay then we have low igf and igf bp3 uh, levels for age mm, very important insulin like growth factor if it's a low okay remember and resumption of growth following the growth hormone administration if we give the growth hormone and there is resumption of the growth then you can think of then the diagnosis is growth hormone deficiency so these are the important criteria for this okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care